What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we are back to talk about the KOTOR remake. You know, I just want to say something off the bat. I try to do my best to not clickbait. So when it comes to the titles, when it comes to the thumbnails, one thing I attempt to do is always at least put like question marks and things so that it's never directed as a statement. I j I'm throwing that out because we've had so many freaking back and forth with this game and we've had this situation really uh, another time with The Last of Us multiplayer and I try to do it there too, not make definitive statements in the title or thumbnail because things like this can happen where we keep going back and forth between two different sources that you can constantly argue and look in this case we're going back and forth between two sources that I'm not even a fan of either of them in terms of their personal lives, personal opinions and stuff. And we've talked about that, right? Jeff Grubb and Jason Trier. But what we have here with the KOTOR remake specifically is somebody who uh, claims, and this is Jason Trier, he claims to have talked to two people that work at Saber Interactive. And guess what? Uh, what, what a shock, what a twist. They told him that they're working on the game. Now, honestly, well, you could say he's a liar. I really don't think so. I'm sure he, like, and we've talked about this before, they're both journalists, so it's not even just Schreier, but he is a journalist. He does write on a slant. I think we all know this. He's not a very likable guy, but even in his articles, he does do the journalistic thing where they're always doing an agenda. But, but he does know his stuff, and that is just very important to throw out. He knows his stuff because he's plugged in, because he has people everywhere, or he has people for some god unknown reason that like to talk to the guy. So, in this case, I'm taking his side. I, I really am. And this connect, this is like a three part trilogy at this part, right? At this point, right? Like, we've really completed the circle where, you know, we had, you know, the CEO of Embracer, right? Or whoever it was talking about, hey, you know, I'm not going to make a comment. When I make a comment, it gets taken out, so I'm just not going to say anything. And I read that as the game is probably still in development, but it's probably like it's slowed. It's not doing all that great, and that's probably why he doesn't want to say it. Then Jeff Grubb comes in, and, and I want to say something, and this is not like a thousand percent calling him out because ultimately we don't know, right? We really need Embracer to freaking say something about this game. I do take Jason's side right now in terms of believing that KOTOR is still happening. I will say that. In terms of Jeff Grubb, I want to say I'm not going to let this man off the hook. We talked about him with the Mass Effect thing. Mass Effect's coming out in 2029. I think that's a load of garbage, and I think that's going to be proven to be fake. And then also, I don't want him hiding behind, oh, it was just my opinion. People always take my opinion and spin it off as some rumor. He said definitively that the KOTOR remake is 100 percent dead and there is nobody in the industry touching this game right now so he cannot hide behind his opinion and i'm just throwing that out into the universe because i wonder if he'll do that if he's proven wrong and again we need somebody else we can't have and i said the same thing with the last of us can we please stop having just back and forth and back and forth and jason says it one day somebody else says it the other day that the game is canceled and now the game is back on over and it's it's annoying. It really is. We're literally doing the same thing with KOTOR and we're doing it with two pretty reputable insiders. So like one of their credentials is about to take a hit and I think it's Jeff Grubb. We'll see, but I really believe it's him. Considering I don't think you go out of your way to say, hey, I talked to two literal people that are working at the studio that supposedly has the game and they say that during their day job that they get paid for every single week or month, that that's the game that they're working on. Why you would make that up, I really don't understand. And one other uh, controversial opinion, I don't know why that wasn't the first thing that was done. I did think that when Jeff Grubb said his thing. Can nobody just, like, yes, you have to do it confidentially and all that, like, you know, shadows and stuff, but can nobody just reach out to some random employee at Sabre and just say, hey, like, you know, don't tell me your name. I don't want your name. Don't get in trouble. Like, what's going on there? Are you guys working on KOTOR? Are you sitting there twiddling your thumbs doing nothing every day? What are you doing? Why that wasn't the first thing that journalists did, and I think Schreier only did it because of Jeff Grubb starting this entire thing. I don't know. I don't know why that wasn't the first step. So, Right now, because I already was kind of on the side of this game is real, and you can go back video proof of all of this, I was on the side that I think the game is more likely happening 
then canceled. And that was when they did that statement of no statement, okay? And then when Jeff did his thing, you know, I, I took him at his word because he does know his stuff generally. But I did throw in just to kind of, you know, protect myself, protect my back. I have said, he said some weird stuff as of late. That Mass Effect 2029 thing, I think is gonna look like that whole like age, like uh, milk or whatever, like the thing, like that is gonna be so bad, I believe. In just a few years, you're gonna look back at that segment of him saying it, and you're gonna say that, that made no sense to say it out loud because that's not true. There, in my opinion, there's no way we get Mass Effect six years from now. I, I just don't believe it, but we'll see. But you know what? If he's wrong with KOTOR, I think, the odds of him being wrong with other things obviously increase so maybe he is wrong with mass effect because he's wrong with kotor we'll see what happens at the end of the day i do stick with this i believe jason but i need i need and i i same thing with the last of us truly same thing you need a statement because you have all this weird political fighting between all these like insiders but ultimately it's not like yes they're doing it for clicks they're doing it for all these engagement things they wouldn't have to do it or they wouldn't be able to do it period if they were just more transparent naughty dog has made some mistakes with last was multiplayer whether it's happening right now or not they've made some mistakes to open themselves up to speculation i don't really think that's the fault of now when you do like clickbait fake news like things like that oh obviously that is on you but they kind of open themselves up to it if you know what i mean and it's the same thing with kotor if they just because they have never even said that it was taken from aspire right like that is still heavily what happened like that is what happened but they've never actually issued a statement and said we took it it's at saber they're working on it uh you know it's been delayed what they've never like issued a bullet point thing like that if they just do that yeah it'll make them look bad but if you just do it you won't ha you like you'll shut up the Jeff Grubbs and Jason Shires of the world. They won't be able to talk about it. I won't be able to talk nobody because you're just being transparent. So I do want to throw that in because it's like I am going at these insiders, but and they are a problem. But like if Embracer was just not falling apart and also just a little bit more transparent, you wouldn't have these issues. So they do deserve some blame as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.